Hey guys, welcome back. This new series has been in the works for over a year now. I'm super excited, so let's jump right in. In this video, I will explain the new Hub World MMO series. What is it? How is it going to work? And how can you leverage it in your game project? What is a Hub World MMO? A Hub World MMO uses multiple instance servers to support large player populations rather than a single classic MMO server. In a Hub World MMO, we split worlds into zones and then split the zones into channels. Players can only see and interact with players on the same zone and channel. There are loading screens when switching between zones or channels. Classic MMO servers usually have very short network relevancy distances and relatively small max players per world, often in the 3000 to 5000 range. Hub World MMOs can support millions of players in the same world. You just can't see all the players at once. Hub World MMOs can also have much larger network relevancy distances and are better suited for real-time action combat. In a classic MMO, all of the players connect to a single server. In a Hub World MMO, there are many Hub World MMO instance servers that players connect to. These Hub World MMO instance servers are managed by and share data using the set of ODBS2 API servers. The hub zone will have combat disabled and will have an infinite number of channels. We will aim for 75 players per channel. The south gate zone will have mobs that players can run around and kill solo or in small groups. Channels will be added when the player count on a channel reaches the soft player cap. We will aim for 50 players per channel. Players will kill mobs and mini bosses in the south gate zone to collect materials to upgrade their weapons and equipment. The North Gate will lead to a chain of instance dungeons that can only be completed by four player groups. Each group will have their own server instance. The goal of the game is to clear to the end of the chain of instance dungeons. Small players will only be able to enter the next dungeon instance in the chain when they have completed the instance before it. Each dungeon instance will get successively more difficult and will require farming previous dungeon instances for weapons and equipment. Weapons and equipment will need to be upgraded to reach their maximum effectiveness. Since dungeon instances can only be completed in four player groups, it will be important to build a strong team and work with others to clear all the way to the end. Why make a hub world MMO example project? After helping hundreds of developers with their persistent world multiplayer game projects over the last nine years, I have noticed that there are a lot of demo code out there a lot of tutorials, but very few examples of production style solutions. My hope is that this Hub World MMO example project will give solo and small team developers valuable examples that they can use to help improve their game projects. And it's also personal. I'm still upset that we never finished the Let's Make an MMO in UE4 tutorial series. I really wanted to get to the point in that series where we could package a game and play it together. But for various reasons, we were unable to reach that milestone. This time, we will get there. Will the Hub World MMO example project use Open World Server 2? Yes. In addition to the Hub World MMO project being an example for many Unreal Engine 5 features, it will also serve as an example of how to use ODBS 2 in your persistent world multiplayer game. In this tutorial series, we will focus on doing short, hyper-focused videos showcasing already built features in the Hub World MMO example project. This will not be a step-by-step, -step, follow along tutorial series like we did in the Let's Make an MMO in UE4 series. This is one of the changes that we had to make uh, to be able to reach our goals. We will be using C++ and Blueprints together. Why not a step-by-step -step tutorial? With a step-by-step -step tutorial, you can't easily jump to a specific topic that interests you because you have to follow along in order. When the tutorial series is short, this isn't a big deal. When we get to 60 videos, it's a huge problem. Step-by-step -step tutorials also require all of the steps to be shown in the video series. This limits what we can do. 
The entire 60 video, let's make an MMO in UE4 series was 34 hours long. The Hubworld MMO example project has already taken hundreds of hours to build and will take thousands of hours before we are done. There is no way to show all of this step by step. There are three primary ways to use this project. If you have an existing game project, you can look at the examples in the Hubworld project to help you implement new features or improve existing features in your game project. If you are primarily a C++ game programmer and have not started your game project yet, you may decide to use a few or all of the classes in the Hubworld project as a base to build your game on top of. If you are primarily a Blueprint game designer, you may choose to build your Blueprints on top of the Hubworld project. Keep in mind that there are some potential problems with this approach. Once you choose a Hubworld project version to start building on top of, there won't be an easy way to update to future versions of the project. You would have to manually integrate any C++ and Blueprint changes you want from newer versions into your older version. This could take significant amounts of time and expertise. The next episode in the series will be how to set up the Hubworld MMO example project. A new video will release every Saturday at 12 p.m. There will be a watch party in Discord on some Saturdays when the video premieres. See the Discord event schedule. There will also be a question and answer session after the watch party. The Discord link is in the video description. If you have any questions related to this video, please leave your questions in the comments section. The Open World Server and Hubworld MMO Discord link is also in the video description if you want to discuss something in this video further. Please like and subscribe to be notified of future videos and to help with the algorithm. Until next time, see ya!